Hey guys, it's Serena from Pris Wild Things and today I'm going to be doing a review on my um, Frau Lane 38 eyeshadow colour palette. So it basically has 120 colours in it and I've taken a while before reviewing this just because I wanted to make sure that I actually liked it um, or didn't like it before I made um, a proper review. So I got this for Christmas from my parents and first initial when I opened it, I got rid of the box now, but the box was so gorgeous. Like it had this um, like 3D feel like pattern on it and it was just, I really wanted to keep the box, but my mum gets really mad because I always keep boxes I don't need. So when you first open it, you get these sheets and I haven't got rid of these just because, so you'll see in a minute why, but um, like this. And then you see this little tag here and you just pull the tag and that lifts up the first one and you can put it into here if you want to get them keep them both open at the same time so I'm just going to quickly take that out show you kind of the colours like this, hopefully it doesn't fall out okay so can you see like the amount of colours there it's like a carnival in a box and the reason why I keep the sheeting on is just because I dropped it one time and, which one is it? Can you see this one? Like, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but there's a big chunk there that fell out when I dropped it. So I just keep the sheet on so that if it does break, that it's still on the sheet and I can kind of pat it back in. So, I was really happy when I got this because, um... I was at the stage where I just started doing YouTube videos um, and I didn't really have many, well I still don't, but like makeup brands and um, things and this is just all the colours I could ever need in one pattern, like one palette. So you've got, this is really confusing, you've got yellows, greens, blues, purples and then kind of like autumn colours. And then you've got your blacks and your neutrals, some more greens, some more pinks, some more reds, purples, like every single colour you could think of. And um, this one is actually kind of the same, if you can, this row here and the first row here, which I'm really glad about because you have lots of very um, bright colours and then two rows of neutral so because I use neutral quite a lot for my daily look that way I won't run out as quickly because there's two rows of it um, and yes you probably like I'm sick of me saying this about like most eyeshadow but they are extremely pigmented like there's this orange here which is neon and it's just so neon I don't know if it's going to come up neon on the camera because my camera's pretty rubbish at the moment and there's like a neon yellow here and I really like this colour, I love this colour but it really does not suit my face I really like this um, teal colour and let's do a pink for you, oh this is a nice neon pink Oh, nothing on my thumb. Right, what colour do you want? Shall I do a green? Right. Whoa, that is super pigmented. That is amazing. Whoa. Now I've got colour all over my hand. Um, my favourite colour in this palette is probably the white. And I know you're going to be like, white... It's a colour palette, why would you like the white? But I love this white, as, as you can see, it is my most used colour. Uh, it's got a massive dip in it because I use it, um, oh wait, I've got yellow on that finger. I use it as my highlight pretty much every day. And inner corners, it just looks gorgeous on the inner corner, like a really nice, um, makes your eyes look so awake and it's just gorgeous and also the purple I've used this purple I did a tutorial but I didn't upload it because it didn't end up looking that good but look how deep that is 
and for the price this is an amazing amazing investment because you can do like natural looks and you can go crazy and do you know like say if, if tomorrow because tomorrow is the royal wedding if I wanted to like go out and do like my eyes blue like deep blue or red or you know the flag or something it would look amazing and this isn't always a big issue but some eyeshadows do smell really bad I actually love the smell of these they smell like um, you know as a kid you used to play with play-doh it smells like play-doh and that might not sound appealing to you but to me that is like the best thing that I could put on my face because I love the smell of play-doh um, so bad points the only bad point I have with this is I think I would like it a little better if like you opened it and it was like how do I explain it if I opened it and it was like this already like it's shut like this and I know that's probably not a good idea because of the, of the eyeshadow but if there was like a middle wall that's like you know like a black sheet that's like in the hinge as well so you, like, you have to peel it back to get to each level because when I open it I have to take it out to move it to get it to um, to get it to the right, um, to get them both at the same time and this little ribbon isn't the most reliable because it is only stuck, um, if I show you, it is only just stuck into the um, like gaps and that fell out once which is when I dropped it and also you can see I gouged out some of this red here um, with my nail, <laughs> you can see that, which is also um, like an annoying thing but that's not the company's fault that's my fault because I like just open it and just like dig my nails in to rip it out and stuff um, and I'm definitely going to be doing some more looks with this because I just really really like it now I know you can get this off eBay um, but eBay isn't always cheaper than the original seller because people on eBay just want your money whereas the business more have your like um, interests at heart like they believe in this stuff and they want to sell it to you as an item not just to get your money whereas eBay people are more um sorry hit me with the camera eBay people are more like just buy this off me and shipping on eBay is like mental and I actually messaged the people at Farrell Lane to ask them if I could do this review because I'm not quite sure how it works on YouTube with reviews but I have to ask permission first so I just thought I'd check with them that it was okay that I did this video um and while I was on there, actually, so it's totally off track, while I was on there, I was looking at the brushes because I saw somebody do a review on the Farlene, I think it was 25 pack of brushes, and they were saying that they were comparable to Sigma, and there is no way that I could ever afford Sigma brushes. But if brushes from Farlene are as good as Sigma, I'm going to have to save up and get some of those because they look amazing. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I messaged them, and they messaged back and were just like, yeah, sure, um, do a review, we're happy with that, and um, you're really nice. So I know that the people that work there are kind of like, um, really nice, and if you have any questions or anything, then they'll be ha they'll get back to you really fast. Another really pigmented colour on this is the black, and I have used this when I did my, I did a sugar skull for when I went to Alton Towers, and obviously I hollowed out the whole of my like the whole of my eye with this black and it is really good and another thing another thing another thing at the time when I got this I didn't own any primer I didn't own elf primer I didn't own anything and so this hair is really bugging me I didn't own any primer but as soon as I got this I was messing around with it and trying it out and it actually does stay on a pretty long time without any primer. The colour is slightly more, um, what's the word? Not pigmented, but slightly more deeper when you use a primer. And it uh, stands out a bit more, but these these stay on on their own. Um, I really love the texture of these. And that's a really stupid thing to say. Um, but they're really, they're not, they're not creamy. Um, but they're not like, you know that powdery where you put it on and you get like such a massive amount of fallout that you just like putting that in the bin. Um, there are a few that do have a, quite a bit of fallout, such as the ones that have crumbled, like this one. Where am I pointing? Yeah, this one. This one has quite a bit of fallout. As you can see, it's like kind of around the edge of the pan there. 
but if you put a little bit of translucent powder on before you use them or just hold a cloth there you shouldn't have any issues with that uh, the matte ones don't really have any fallout um, a favourite look that I've been doing with these is um, a silver and this this is like a dark brown silver oh my god that is so pretty um, so these two kind of smoky eye oh, that looks so pretty um, so yeah if you want to see like a smoky eye with these two then just comment below because it's so so pretty um, let's conclude this review because I'm just babbling now do I recommend that you buy this? Yes, because you get so many colours for the price. They're pigmented, they smell really good. It comes in a really cute box at the beginning, which you must keep because it's gorgeous. Um, the design is really well made. It's very compact and it was a lot smaller than I expected it to be. And not the eyeshadows. I wasn't disappointed with the size of the eyeshadows, just it, how lightweight it was. I'm expecting it to be really heavy, but it's really quite light. So this is what it looks like. I've got it all dirty with eyeshadow. Um, this is the front of it. And this is the back. And, God, I've got it everywhere. I really recommend that you go and buy this. I'm definitely kind of investing in some of their brushes because they look really good. Um, I'll link the video that I watched about the brushes below because you don't... Uh, when you put in Fraulein on YouTube, it comes up with a lot of different language videos which I was looking into before I wanted to buy this. And I did not understand what they were saying. So, if you want to see some more reviews on the Fraulein products in English, then just um, comment below. And when I save up and buy some more products from them, because I will be, um, then you can watch those <laughs> videos. I'm just, sorry, I just keep looking outside at the sun and I really want to be outside because it's really sunny at the moment. I'm just going to do a quick outfit of the day. I got changed as soon as I came home because I had black jeggings on. And when I was in Alex's car coming home, I was like, like the burning sensation on the legs. Whilst it was amazing because we don't have sun and I was like, yes, it's really hot, I'm burning. It was also slightly painful. So... I'm wearing this um, white like smock uh, tunic top which has these fold up sleeves. Oh, do you like my English inspired <laughs> nails ready for the wedding tomorrow? And it's got these buttons and like this frail pattern. And I wore this in Greece last, last year. And I'm just wearing this with... I'm just wearing this with a pair of denim shorts and I will be getting changed after I finish this video because these shorts are slightly too tight um, but me and my mum have been um, like I was going to say running then but we weren't running we've been doing some brisk walking around the park because the park is like right there and um, no that's a wall but outside the park is right there um, so we've been doing some brisk walking so that we can get ready for our adventures in Greece because we want to be all nice and toned so I'm definitely like I'm really upset because last year I bought these pink shorts and I wore them like twice in Greece tried to put them on about 10 minutes ago would not fasten so I'm pretty upset about that and I've promised myself from now on I'm not going to try on any of my summer clothes that I'm not going to wear in Britain because if I don't fit in them I get really upset and angry with myself and then I go eat some cake and then I get fatter and they don't fit in anything um so I'm not going to try anything else on other than these shorts because I can get in these um until I've been walking for quite a while and we started eating a lot healthier like we don't eat junk food really but we do have a snack cupboard which is full of chocolate and crisps and the thing is because it's full of food I think well we must eat all that first and then when we finished eating it and there's nothing in there then we can stop but we always buy more when we go to the supermarket so like I feel bad for not eating it even though I do want to eat it anyway um sorry I'm so rambling now how long is this video 15 minutes okay i'm gonna go now see you in my next video guys please subscribe and comment below about any products you want me to review or looks that you want me to do and i'll see you later bye p.s just a quick note i know that my eyebrows are so like 
need a pluck in, a pluck in, um, in my last video. But that's because I'm growing them out so that I can do a how I tweeze my eyebrows video. So don't judge me for having hairy brows and then there's just like two here or something. 